going on lasagnas? It's Dylan Lasagna here, and welcome to my raw reactions for the June 27, 2016 episode. And yeah, I finally got the date right for this episode. And yeah, it was a pretty good episode despite Roman Reigns being suspended and all. Oh yeah, speaking of the Roman Reigns suspension, Seth Rollins opened the show and addressed the triple threat match situation. And he apparently said, well yeah. It's still going on. And he was pretty pissed about it. Which goes on to say, he throws the cat out of the bag and says, Let's talk about Roman Reigns. And then he talks about the suspension, and he's not, Roman Reigns is not a good role model for making one huge mistake. And he goes on to show the tweet that Roman Reigns put out for apologizing to his family, the friends. He says, No excuses. I own it. And Seth Rollins goes on to, to roast Roman Reigns about that part about no excuses, you own it. And this brings out Dean Ambrose. And he goes on to tell Seth Rollins that, hey, everyone makes mistakes. But what Dean doesn't understand is, hey, this guy, Roman Reigns, is trying to be built up as the top base in the company. The hair to John Cena. But then he gets suspended. And then, even though he owns it, it still shouldn't have in the first place. So this brings out AJ Styles, and he don't want none of Roman Reigns in the triple threat match, so he wants to be in the triple threat match. But Dean doesn't have the power to do it. So AJ want, wants himself inserted in the match to make it a fail for it. But Seth Rollins argues against it, because you know how Seth Rollins is. All arrogant and stuff. He wa wants a proper one-on-one -on -one match for the WWE title because he has a rematch. And here comes Mr. S Superman, John Cena. It's his, it was his 14th birthday in WWE, his 14th year as of yesterday. And because of that, and because he beat Dean Ambrose in that US Open Challenge last year, the day after WrestleMania... He deserves a championship match against Dean Ambrose. But then he wants it to be a fatal five way match at Battleground. And Dean Ambrose is just like, fuck it. I don't care. I don't care if it's triple threat, fatal four way, fatal five way. I'll kick all your asses. And then Seth Rollins just like throwing a bitch fit. It's like, no, 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 no. I still, I want it to be a one on one on one match. <laughs> Ah, and here comes Stephanie McMahon, all strut in, and then she says she's in charge tonight. Shane McMahon's on vacation again when Shane McMahon's probably doing something at WWE headquarters, or probably just hiding backstage. Anyway, she says that it's an embarrassment that we're in this place in WWE right now. Dean Ambrose is the champ. Roman Reigns is suspended, and. Yeah, it's pretty sad. So, they're going to settle it tonight. They're going to have two matches. There's going to be John Cena versus Seth Rollins later in the night, and then Dean Ambrose versus AJ Styles in a main event. If Cena and AJ can win their respective matches, they'll be placed in the Battleground WWE Championship match. And this brings me to John Cena versus Seth Rollins. And wow, that was one... Heck of a match, but not as good as their match at SummerSlam. But it's still a pretty good match. It it's just goes to show how good their chemistry was. Especially how John Cena kept trying to do the five nautical shuffle and he still can't get it because Seth Rollins just knows when to reverse it. And man. And then it just proves how John Cena is too slow for all these athletic guys. These all acrobatic guys. <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> anyway, the club come out and distract John Cena and Seth Rollins hits that pedigree which John Cena sold really very well. One, two, three, Seth Rollins prevents John Cena and well, the club also prevented John Cena from entering the WWE Championship match at Battleground. Which also brings me into the main event. Dean Ambrose versus AJ Styles for the first time ever. Now this was a, this was a pretty good match too, but they could have they also could have done 
much better. Like, I know it's their first time facing off, but it was a pretty good match. Like, like for the first time facing each other off. Like, they have very good chemistry. Like, when they get into the ring, they, they're contrasting styles. AJ's like acrobatics versus Dean Ambrose's brawler style. It's like, man. And then Dean Ambrose was super plexed. AJ off the top rope. And AJ is selling it like, ah, oh, that hurts so bad. And then Dean Ambrose hurt his knee for the one millionth time. But yeah, this was a very good ma main event. Like, but entertaining main event and I hope these two face off like you know like a pay-per-view in the near future anyway Dean Ambrose gets the win with the dirty deeds after John Cena helps Dean Ambrose get payback on AJ Styles for what AJ did to him and yeah it's a slight turn of events from what AJ did to John Cena in this match against Seth Rollins Dean Ambrose gets to win with Dirty Deeds, but then John Cena gets attacked by the club and and killed with the Magic Killer on the on the stage, which hurt really looked like it hurt really bad. And then Seth Rollins, who was on commentary, who was obviously trying to root for Dean, like to keep it a triple threat, hit the ring, hit Dean Ambrose with two pedigrees. And then the club and Seth Rollins stood tall to end the show. And man, it's going to be an interesting four weeks until Battleground. See how all this plays out until Roman Reigns comes back for Battleground. We also can't forget about the other stuff that happened on Raw. There's also the highlight reel with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. And on this edition of the highlight reel... Um, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens discussed how they need to put this rivalry at an end once and for all because of the WWE draft coming up. Okay. And uh, anyway, so I I find that not a really good way to end a rivalry, like. Or as a good reason to end the rivalry because of the draft coming up and the possibility they might be s split up in the draft because what if you end up on the same brand? So what happens if if the rivalry ends but you still if you two are drafted to Raw? So what happens there? Anyway, um, yeah, this was a very good segment because they talked about how. Kevin Owens told Sami Zayn when Sami got, first got to NXT, Kevin Owens was happy for him. But Sami Zayn didn't show the same emotion what when Kevin Owens finally got to NXT a year and a half later. But And then, so, as an act of revenge, Kevin Owens took out all his frustrations on Sami by doing the Pop-Tart Powerbomb on the apron and then savagely beating him for the NXT title. And which pretty much pissed off Sami Zayn. And then Sami Zayn proposed a challenge at Battleground where they planned to do end this once and for all, which Kevin Owens accepted. And then Chris Jericho obviously s stuck his nose into things by saying, You know what, Sami? You stupid idiot. You know why Kevin Owens is following my lead? Because I am still the greatest. Drink, I'll now give you the gift of Jericho. Drink it in, man. Oh, man. Chris Jericho is honestly, like, one of the best heels right now. He's, like, he's, like, one of the most entertaining guys right there, right now. I like him as a heel, like, because you gotta drink it in, man. He's, like, he sounds like a hippie when, when he says that. And then they, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn both super kick him to end the highlight reel. And yeah, I hope they tear their house down at Battleground like in their final match. I know it's probably not going to be their final match at Battleground against each other. But I hope they're given some kind of stipulation. I, I really don't want it to be like some kind of like sing, just a regular singles match. I hope it's like a last man standing match or like 
uh, no holds barred or false count anywhere kind of stipulation. It, cause it's the end of a rivalry. Like, uh, how long has it been? Like, two years in a two year rivalry. Yeah, you can't just like end it on like a singles match. You have to have like some sort of extreme stipulation. Maybe next week on Raw or like in the coming weeks they'll have like a beat the clock challenge for those two men to see who gets to pick the stipulation. It'll be interesting to see. The Miz jizzed his way back into Monday Night Raw with the Intercontinental Championship in tow. But then he was faced with the dilemma of being stripped of the Intercontinental Championship because he didn't defend it for 30 days because he was filming the Marine 5 Battleground. Oh, how special of you, Miz. Anyway, he's forced to defend the Intercontinental Championship by Stephanie McMahon and Corporate Kane against a mystery surprise opponent. You know who that mystery surprise opponent turned out to be? Good God Almighty. Oh, it's Kane. God damn it. Couldn't it be someone like Neville? Or like Cesaro? Or... I don't know. It's like, honestly, Kane really? It's like, out of all the people on the roster, it has to be Kane. And it wasn't even an entertaining match. It was bad. And Maurice pulled a LeBron James on everyone. It wasn't even, like, it's not an Emmy Award winning like, act. It wasn't even like a Slammy Award winning act. It was a fail. It was all a flop. It was like LeBron James and Russell Westbrook flopping for the referees. And that's what Maurice did. To get a foul. That's, that, was, that was just horrible. Anyway, though, Kane, Kane won by count out. And yeah. Miz is still your Intercontinental Champion. But that was just horrible. And we can't forget all the other stuff that happened on Raw. There was uh, Sasha Banks and Paige defeating Charlotte and Dana Brooke in the opening match of Raw. And you know what I'm hoping for? It's like, at Battleground, maybe like a number one contenders match between Sasha Banks and Paige. Like, maybe they'll start building that up next week, hopefully. I don't want to see like another tag team match between those four. Like, another tag team match at Battleground, it's like, it sucked balls, man. I want to see, like, some wrestling between the women. It's like, Sasha Banks versus Paige at, in a number one contenders match to see who faces Charlotte at SummerSlam. Even though we all know Sasha Banks would win. But, make it happen. It would be awesome to see. Enzo Cast also defeated some local jobbers in, like, three moves or less. And then... Who comes out to interrupt them after the match? The social outcasts making their return to get hard, to get their dicks hard in the action. And Enzo and Cass just basically like pushed them away. Like, and that was pretty much it because the social outcasts were too soft, they were too S A W F T. Soft. Oh yeah, we also got another um, New Day segment where they also where they roasted the Wyatt family again. What's up with the Xavier Woods, man? Is he being like hypnotized or is he being like a pussy when it comes to confronting Bray Wyatt? I don't know. Anyway, they roast like Eric Rowan's booty again, and what else did they say about Bray Wyatt? I don't know. This feud has been going all over, but I did like their I did like their intro, like when they mocked their "We're here" with the unicorn horns, and then instead of the da, they, it was like a little like cartoonish, like MLP, like New Day thing. That was pretty cool. And here comes the white family to to taunt Xavier Woods because it, he knows Xavier Woods is scared of Bray Wyatt and. Yeah, that was pretty much it. But I'm not so sure about this feud because the mat. I know the match will be co will be cool because these are three two of the best team like stables in WWE right now. But I'm just not sure like in terms of the like the hype and the 
storytelling. It's not there right now. I'm not sure. There's also Titus O'Neil beating Rusev by count out because apparently the baby faces can do that. And then Becky Lynch decided to bail out of her match against Summer Rae by attacking Natalia and which was a pretty pay crappy payback attempt because she got pulled back by the referee many times and she basically did nothing about it. She only sh resisted the referee's attempts to to calm down like once and yeah that was pretty shitty and then what else happened on here oh yeah Apollo Crews defeated and Cesaro defeated Sheamus and Alberto Dario I think that was it mm, yeah nothing else happened overall this was a pretty good episode of Raw it's kinda lacked here and there. But we know another match is bound to happen at Battleground and I keep hitting my fan. And yeah, that match turned out to be Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens, which I hope will have some sort of stipulation. But yeah, um, at least we know like a, a couple of feuds are going somewhere. Some are just like some superstars in tag teams are just like, yeah, we'll just address those when the time of the W draft comes it's just like ah don't do that like you want to build them up like before the draft like the draft's in like four four weeks or three weeks well battlegrounds in like four weeks so three weeks let's assume that but yeah this was a pretty good episode of raw and it, despite roman reigns uh being suspended and hopefully they rebound next week oh wait it's 4th of July. They'll just throw it away. It's another holiday episode. They'll, they'll just throw this one away too. <laughs> oh no. Anyway. I probably won't be paying attention to that. Because it's 4th of July. Everyone's going to be celebrating with fireworks and hot dogs and hamburgers. And we're going to be celebrating our Declaration of Independence. Like Jack Swagger says, we the people. Right, everyone? We the people. Anyway, the lasagnas, I hope you guys enjoyed my raw reactions. I'm sorry if they weren't as enthusiastic as my previous raw reactions because, well, basically, not much happened on this episode of Raw. It, yes, WWE was, I don't know, lacking or lazy. Well, I don't know. But anyway. I hope you guys liked my raw reactions. Leave a like. Comment down below with your raw reactions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media links in the description below. And always be delicious. Until the next video, lasagnas.